So you're on Into the Future 3 Moon and you're probably wondering what the best route is to take after you beat this level. What do you do after you beat Into the Future Chapter 3 Moon and start progressing in the mid game? And it's finally here people, the long awaited how to progress through Battle Cats mid game edition. We're gonna pick up where we left off 8 or so months ago in the beginners edition and I'll do a little recap here in the beginning. So the beginners edition explored what to do right after chapter 3 Empire of Cats and of course the outcome in that video is to go do SOL and progress there and hold off on into the future until you are prepared enough. That's the whole thing that messes up a lot of people. They hop straight into into the future right after beating Empire of Cats and then they start getting stuck constantly. So the key thing is if you progress way too quickly you are going to get stuck eventually and you might even get yourself in the But basically to wrap it up that whole video covered up the whole beginner phase of Battle Cats and how to go through it so you don't get stuck anywhere and so you can progress very smoothly through the whole of Into the Future and also Stories of Legend. Now by the time you do reach Into the Future 2 I do highly recommend that you have all the crazed cats and most of the Stories of Legend legends that you can obtain like Urunner and Wolf and Little Nye. But that's all you pretty much need for Into the Future. And of course, if you have Ubers, then you could just use those. But do keep in mind, if you progress way too fast, you will fall behind in your levels. And I'll explain that a lot more in this guide since I didn't really explain too much about it in the previous one. So basically you have your under wolf, you have little Nye, you have all the crazed cats and you're on into the future chapter 3 moon and you've probably already beat it by now. So what do you do after? Do you do cats of the cosmos? Do you do more stories of legend? Do you start getting manic cats? Deadly advents? Little cats? There's so much stuff to the mid game that you have to do and that is the reason why this is probably one of the bigger guides since the mid game of Battle Cats is massive and constantly changing as the game updates. Like 3 or 4 years ago Musashi was considered end game and that was the end game of Battle Cats. But fast forward to today and now that is mid game. So Mid game constantly does evolve as Battle Cats grows and gets more content but that will eventually end at some point and that will be a very moody day for some people but anyways welcome to the mid game of Battle Cats probably the most grindiest part of this game if you aren't grinding constantly in the mid game of Battle Cats you are going to falter behind and struggle a lot. This is by far the grindiest part of the game. So absolutely do keep that in mind going forward in this guide. And you can just probably guess what I recommend doing right after Into the Future Chapter 3. You have two options here. One, you have to absolutely start grinding out the cat fruit stages the XP stages and Katsika stages. So that is the first option and that is the way to go right after beating Into the Future Chapter 3. And I'll explain the reason in a second here. But the other route is if you do have some very solid anti-alien units and or Ubers then you can start slowly grinding Cats of the Cosmos and getting those treasures done and completing whole of Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 1. Though Cats of the Cosmos is easy, it is very time consuming and I would recommend to not progress in Cats of the Cosmos yet and I'll explain this a lot more later in the video. But first, of course, let's get into the recommended route. It is grinding XP, Cat Fruit and Cat Tickets. 
Now you must be wondering why I'm urging you to grind these stages and you've probably been doing them before already but this is where you have to take it up another level and get prepared for those manic stages. This is where you'll need to get your gacha levels fully developed, awakened and maxed out. So get them level 30, get them true formed, grind those cat fruits and xps for them, get your basics leveled up and get them to at least like plus 20 around there and you'll pretty much be set for the manic stages since that is the next big thing after Into the Future Chapter 3 that you need to prepare for. Now of course, if you have some of your gacha units already awakened and you have some very solid ones from before and let's say you've gotten some manix before Into the Future actually was completed like manic macho legs, manic mohawk, whatever manix you did get before you completed into the future and if you did that then you won't need to grind as much but there is still some other units you'll need for in the future so this is your opportunity to get those units awakened and maxed out since you will need them for future use in cats of the cosmos and of course later on in SOL. But what if your gacha lineup and gacha units are just complete trash and you have really no good gacha units to use in the manic stages? Well, this is where you're gonna have to grind extremely hard because in place of those very solid gacha units for the manic stages, you will need level 30 craze cats and level 30 craze cats can be obtained by reaching 3650 user rank so it's a pretty long way to go from into the future 3 so it is very grindy if you do not have the good gacha units and if you're wondering which gacha units are good for the manic stages i have made a video on that boom it's right there click it and you will see all the key units for the manic stages and that will set you up for that but other than that grinding these xp stages cat fruit stages and cat ticket stages also is essential if you have no key gacha units for the manic stages even grinding the lucky ticket stages for power-ups is also very recommended in this whole phase after into the future 3 so after into the future 3 there is a very drought period of just grinding out cat fruit stages xp stages and cat ticket stages maybe doing some sol on the side doing some three star two star four star stages and getting some cat food on the side doing some more rolls trying to get those key gacha units Whatever you do on the side doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't interfere too much with your cat fruit, XP, and cat ticket grinding. Now the stages I recommend doing for these grinds, of course, all the cat fruit stages, every single one of them, make sure you do them, including cat fruit buffet. XP stages, avoid doing the regular XP stage and weekend stage only do the xp mega blitz xp coliseum and of course merciless xp and as cat ticket stages go this one is optional you can pretty much avoid it or do it to get your basics up but i of course recommend at least doing steel visage every time it does come around and maybe doing super metal hippo once every week or so or whenever you can catch it, it does help out a lot since grinding cat tickets can also equate to rare tickets. So trading in five of the duplicate power-ups for cat tickets or from the silver cat tickets can give you one rare ticket if you trade five of the blue orbs in. So keep that in mind. If you want to grind out cat tickets, I do highly recommend it as it can return in rare tickets as well. Now if you're wondering what to do on the side as you're getting all these gacha units true formed, maxed out, and awakened, 
what you can do is into the future outbreaks that is one thing that doesn't cost too much energy and does give a pretty nice reward so you can do those of course you can always go back and do the time scores in into the future as well getting all those cat food bonuses because that's 480 cat food each into the future chapter if you complete it fast enough so keep that in mind as well now xp for ubers are very expensive so if you have some very solid ubers then i only recommend spending xp on them and true forming them because you do not want to waste your cat food and xp on pretty much metacore ubers and useless ubers unless you have like literally no gacha units to replace them but i'm guessing you do have majority of the gacha units by this point in time of the game so try to avoid falling in the trap of upgrading and true forming your ubers try to get your rares and your super rares all fully true formed maxed out before you start doing your ubers this way you can save a lot more xp and one of the reasons why I have so much XP, as you can see, is because I rarely level up my Ubers. Now let's get into SOL before we hop into the Manix stages. So, without Manix, there is a certain point to where you can go up in SOL where it starts getting very difficult. Unless you have some very overpowered gotchas. So keep that in mind. The way I recommend doing it is getting Mina right before doing the Manic stages as that can pretty much guarantee you Manic Mohawk unless you've already cheesed the level before but Mina is pretty nice to have with that LD ability so keep Mina and you will need it for the little Mohawk stage so keep that in mind anyway so into the future then it's grinding then it's time to do sol if you haven't been doing it already now let's talk about why i do not recommend rushing at all so this one is probably gonna be a little bit hard for people to understand right now but if you've been playing battle cats for a decently long time i'm sure you will understand why it's very risky to rush in battle cats right now so rewind three or four years ago where this subchapter just came out and you rushed it all in one day and that was it there's literally nothing you can do after this subchapter you would have to wait at least like three or three weeks or maybe even a month for the next sol update well, with Battle Cats constantly getting updated as of now, and with Battle Cats getting very large as time goes on, it has been way easier to just rush and progress through the game at a very fast rate. It may seem like a good thing, but it is very much not a good thing, and I'll explain that here. So, the Battle Cats progression system was set up to where you would beat the latest stage and you would have to wait at least three weeks for the next subchapter to release and in those three weeks you are developing your cat levels and getting prepared for the next subchapter due to this the next subchapter always jumps in difficulty so if you just skip those three weeks and hop right into the next subchapter after completing the other one then you are skipping all of that progress in between that people did before so keep that in mind there was meant to be some progress between subchapters not just rushing through the whole thing otherwise the difficulty gap will keep getting higher and higher as you are skipping weeks and weeks and weeks of progression just by rushing through sol and other stuff in the game so it was meant to have at least a little bit of progression in between each subchapter that's why the difficulty gets higher and higher each subchapter not only because it is a new subchapter 
to fit new levels but with how the progression was back then where you had to wait weeks just for a new sub chapter they weren't gonna drop a very subtle difficulty sub chapter after three weeks they are going to raise the difficulty a lot so if you aren't doing a little grinding in between sub chapters you are going to fall behind in your cat levels to match up with the difficulty of the sub chapter because during that time period you could not rush you were strictly bound to ponos releasing those sub chapters so there was literally no way you can rush and get stuck somewhere for a very long period of time but now you can pretty much rush the whole of mid game all the way to end game and you are going to be in a lot of trouble unless you are completely uber carried and drenched in boosts. So that is the big reason why I do not recommend rushing as it can very much stagger you behind in progress in cat levels and you will get stuck on a stage for months until you catch up with your levels and start to progress smoothly again. So do keep that in mind a lot. Do not rush too much. Careful with your Ubers. And if you want to Uber carry out through the whole game, you can do that. But there is going to be a consequence if you aren't ready at the end. Now let's talk about the other thing that I said I would talk about in the beginning of the video, which is avoiding Cats of the Cosmos. Now the reason I recommend avoiding it is because there really is no reason to do it right now. You can do it, but it is very time consuming and you don't really need it right now. But the point where you absolutely have to start doing Cats of the Cosmos 1 is when you beat Musashi. Because after Musashi in SOL is when it starts to introduce the starred alien enemies and that's where you need the Cats of the Cosmos 1 treasures. So after Musashi it is very highly recommended to do Cats of the Cosmos 1. But of course before all of that it is obviously the manic stages and finally we can start talking about the manic stages 17 minutes in and we're already finally talking about manic stages that didn't take long at all but this is at the point where you're very ready to do the manic stages that's when you could start getting all of them you have all your key gacha units ready you are progressed in SOL as much as you can and you are locked in on your XP for upgrading those craze cats to level 30 for later on. So that's when you absolutely can start doing manic stages. Now let's talk a bit about the manic stages. None of them are really that difficult where you'll absolutely need boosts or uber carries but there is one level where you're gonna absolutely need boost and you probably know which one that it is it is of course manic island but if you have some very decent ubers then you are pretty much set for these manic stages even if you have the one overpowered unit by the name of cyberpunk he can carry majority of the manic stages and the order of the manic stages it doesn't really matter which order you get them it's best to get them the order you are able to get them in so the easiest to the hardest in your setup so whatever fits your cats and your cat levels that's the order you have to do the manic stages in well not have to do them in but that's the suggested way so whichever one is easiest for you do that one first most people have Octo and they get Manic Macho Leg straight away, even in Into the Future. But hey, you might have Mitama, Shadow Ga, whatever overpowered Uber. You can always just use those to get the Manics a bit earlier than usual. And of course, you have to keep that in mind throughout this whole guide. You can do stuff earlier if you have your units ready. So. You do not have to strictly follow this order 
if you already have some very decent units or ubers so keep that in mind that is also another reason why i recommend holding off on cats of the cosmos until later is because you might not have everything for some of the restrictions in those levels but by the time you beat musashi and you're in that point in sol you definitely have everything you need to just sweep through Cats of the Cosmos 1 as a whole. Manic Cats is a very big game changer and especially big if you do not have very good gacha units. They can pretty much replace most units once they are level 30 and can pretty much sweep you through SOL in a very quick manner but not too quick to the point where you're rushing but quick enough where you're safely progressing through SOL without getting stuck and without rushing too quick where you won't need as much key gacha units if you don't have them. So keep that in mind, level 30 manix are very useful everywhere. Now after all the manix stages are complete, there is some things you can do right after completing the manic stages and I'll hop into those things in a second here but before we start off this whole end half of this guide while you're progressing through in this whole first part of this guide and you're following this guide and you're progressing in this way the guide is telling then in between you are able to do some other things like the revenge stages for cyclones or collab events or any other event that is limited and new that you haven't done and that's within range of difficulty then you do complete those stages but if you've already completed everything before that and you've completed the manics and you're pretty much set in your gacha units and your levels then of course it is time to do the advent stages and here we go with the advent stages now this does require some very decently leveled units as in level 30 manix or crazed and true form gachas but there is one exception or a couple exceptions where you can do these advents earlier than usual like the deeply dreaming advent stage where the vendor cat is dropped you can do that a lot earlier than usual even before the manic stages that's just how easy that advent is and maybe you have some overpowered ubers to counter a certain advent stage and that will allow you to do it way earlier than usual as well but other than that manic stages then it is advent stages because you will need some of those manic cats for these advents and a very good example for that is this one right here realm of carnage aka river sticks now the reason i recommend doing this after manic stages is because these stages are kind of more difficult than the manic stages itself so it does help getting more levels and more prepared for these stages than you would for the manic stages as in doing them after the manic stages actually gets you perfectly ready to start doing them but of course there are still some of them where you might get stuck and you might need a certain unit to completely beat it but as i mentioned earlier if you have these certain units then you can do these advents earlier than usual like with deeply dreaming if you have icat and ld units you can pretty much beat that level with no effort at all it is super easy same goes with some of the other advents if you have certain units you can pretty much sweep them very easily or certain ubers so keep that in mind as well you do not have to absolutely wait until after you get manix to do these advent stages but it is just very recommended to do that since you will use some manix unless you have other gacha units to replace them but the key setup for the advents is pretty much the same thing as the manix 
make sure you have the key gacha units ready for these stages and your normals decently leveled plus 20 or plus 30 manix at level 30 or craze cats at level 30 and of course if you have ubers you can replace some of those if you don't have those and that's pretty much obvious if you've reached this far in the guide but as i've said before generally once you are ready to do the manic stages you are kind of ready to also take on the advent stages the deadly advent stages and if you have some very solid levels on your units or boosts or even talents then you might be able to do the revenge stages for some of these deadly stages as well so the merciless counterpart for these advents you will be able to do them as well if you are prepared enough now as far as order goes in completing these deadly advents there really is no order to beat them but there is one that i do recommend and of course the first deadly advent i recommend completing is the deeply dreaming event get vendor cat as early as you can it can help a lot in the little cat stages and maybe in some other stages maybe even in some manic stages if you've beat this deadly advent early enough the next thing i recommend doing it's a choice here you can either go with queen bee or realm of carnage but i recommend doing realm of carnage first since express cat can help out in both queen bee and no plan a after then of course it's thick boy Dabu. you can do this really whenever but if you aren't prepared enough in your plus levels for your Jamera, since it is pretty key in this level then you can do it later on down the line and that is the same situation with wawa which i recommend doing last because the restriction on that stage is pretty annoying so if you don't have some very solid ubers for that stage then i recommend doing it last because you will have the plus levels ready for that stage when you do eventually get to it with that being said of course always grind those cat ticket stages in between all your very massive progressions same with cat fruits and of course xp unless you've got all your main units already for these stages you won't need to do xp and cat fruit you can just focus on the cat ticket stages and get your normals pretty boosted up but yeah that pretty much wraps up the advents the order i recommend of course doing the ones that require more gacha units first realm of carnage queen b no plan a stuff like that then doing the one that is more normal cat reliant like dabu and wawa last since that's when you'll be ready with your plus levels and like i've said multiple times in this guide already if you do have certain units like ubers to counter these deadly advents of course you can do them earlier than usual and that goes for pretty much anything now if you've completed all the advents you've got all the cats from the drops wondering what to do next after advent and of course the obvious answer is progressing through sol again now if you haven't gone up to musashi already this is where you have to progress up to musashi and of course once you beat musashi that is when you must absolutely start doing cats of the cosmos one if you haven't started already now cats of the cosmos is very tricky for treasure grinding since cats of the cosmos treasure festivals are pretty rare so it does become very annoying to try and get treasures for cats of the cosmos but the way i recommend doing it is while you're progressing through sol and if there is a random cats of the cosmos treasure festival that's when you start grinding that out and try to grind it out until you can't anymore so only recommend doing cats of the cosmos when there is treasure festivals i mean you can do it when there isn't but it is going to be very time consuming and it will take a long time to complete the chapter so do your normal thing go through sol bam 24 hour cats of the cosmos treasure festival pops up stop doing stories of legend 
Go to Cats of the Cosmos and grind out those treasures as much as possible during that treasure festival. Once the treasure festival ends, go back to SOL and slowly progress through that. And you can start doing this right after you beat Into the Future Chapter 3, but right after Into the Future Chapter 3 there's more things that you should focus on, so I recommend starting Cats of the Cosmos a little bit later, like after Manic Stages or when during you're doing the Manic Stages, that's when you have a chance to go back and forth between Cats of the Cosmos and Stories of Legend during Treasure Festivals. But yeah, that is the whole thing to do right after the Deadly Advents, even before if you want to hold off on the Deadly Advents if you're not prepared enough. Then you can progress all the way up to Musashi, get Cats of the Cosmos 1 done, then you can start doing the Deadly Advents. Now let's say you've done everything that I've said so far, what do you do after? This is when you come to a complete stop and stop progressing through Stories of Legend since the difficulty gap is pretty large and I recommend waiting for a little bit. And while you're waiting to progress in Stories of Legend, of course, there is still something else you can do, and of course, that is little cats. Now, of course, some of these little cats can be done way earlier than usual. A prime example of that can be little legs, where you just need Cool Japan and a Bahamut. Boom, you've just obtained a little cat very easily. And the same thing goes with like little eraser, you can pretty much get that very easily with the same exact setup as Manic Eraser, just with more replacements for the restriction since you can't really use much stallers like Manic Eraser and Manic Mohawk, stuff like that. You have to use rares and specials only. And that is the reason why I recommend holding off on doing Little Cats until after all of the things I've said. Since the restriction is the 4 star restriction, you will need your normal cats or your special cats very decently leveled and your rares very decently leveled as well. And if you haven't been getting the collab stallers recently and the 5th year staller, it's going to be very hard to find some stallers for these little cat stages, so keep that in mind. And as you're progressing through SOL and doing everything else, by the time you reach this point, you should be ready for the little cats for all of them. Now, the order of the little cats doesn't really matter at all. It's the same thing as the Manix. The easiest one that you were able to do, do that one first and keep going in that order until you beat all of them. The difficulty for the little cats isn't really too harsh. It is only if you're not prepared enough with the right units. So that is why I recommend doing it later on. And they aren't too, too difficult, so keep that in mind. Some of them are very easy with the right strategy and right units in mind. And if you follow this order and you've done the Deadly Advents before the little cats, a lot of the cats you get from the Deadly Advents can help greatly in the little cat stages. So if you follow that order, then this will be very easy to do. Once you've beaten the little cats, there still is some things you can do after that is very key like progressing through Heavenly Tower, that should be a very easy sweep right now in this point of time if you follow this guide. So after all of the stuff I've said, you can pretty much sweep through the whole of Heavenly Tower, Floor 30, even Floor 40, if you do use the units in your arsenal correctly. Now after that, this is when you can start to pretty much choose your own route. You can either start doing Cats of the Cosmos 2 or start progressing more in SOL. But if you do get stuck on an SOL stage with the starred aliens, then maybe it is time to start progressing through Cats of the Cosmos 2 and get that done. But after that, it's pretty much repeat the same process until you get to the end of Stories of Legend and you completely beat it. That is when you're ready for the end game of Battle Cats, and that is of course UL stages, 
the other advents that are new and of course if you haven't done them already it is on to doing the revenge stages for the advents but of course that is for another video and finally the mid game progression guide is complete this was a pretty big one i've had to condense it down a bit since it would be over 50 minutes long if i didn't take out some stuff so i apologize if there is some stuff missing but to keep the video under 50 minutes long I have taken out some stuff to make it more accessible. To do a quick wrap up here, after Into the Future 3, it is of course grinding cat food, XP, cat tickets. After that, it is of course taking on the manic stages whenever you're ready. Then it is time to start doing deadly advents. Then it's SOL and doing Cats of the Cosmos 1. Then it is of course back to doing SOL until you reach Musashi if you haven't already. After that it is getting the little cats, getting all of those done. Then of course it is time to grind out other events like Heavenly Tower and other stuff you haven't finished like the revenge stages. After that it's just smooth sailing to beating SOL. But yeah that pretty much wraps it up. If you found this guide helpful in any way make sure to drop a like on the video. I did spend a lot of time on making this guide. I've lost my voice multiple times making this guide with so much damn commentary. So a like would be much appreciated. Also, subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Google Gang. Go in the description below and join the Google Discord as well. It's pretty hype there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the guide. The whole how to progress through Battle Cat Smoothly mid game edition guide is finally over. I do not know when this is going to be uploaded but end game guide will be somewhere down the line so if there is people out there that do need an end game guide there will be one soon down the line. But yeah that's it guys for this video. It's been John Boogle and see ya.